Welcome back to the channel. Welcome for the first time if you are new. If you don't know what we do here on the Everyday Flipper channel, I like to take you guys out with me and um, we go out and source items on eBay from everywhere from car boot sales, garage sales, op shops, Facebook marketplace deals, the lot. So today we have the Sunday car boot sale and I won't waste too much time. Let's get straight into it. How much were your shoes here? Sorry? How much were these ones? $5. Five dollars? I'll grab them, thanks. For these ones and two dollars for these ones. Alrighty. Um, I'll grab this one here. So here is that vintage Coke hat that you just saw me pick up. I do love to pick up loads of vintage items, especially Coca-Cola because it sells well. Put, put up a comp somewhere around me. And um, this is a really good find, especially for only $2. I wasn't able to get that little clip in of the lady with the price. And it was quite quiet, so I couldn't get it in the video. But a $2 purchase, purchase here should be some good profit that comes out of this. Did you think it's 10 I was going to pick up that. It's like a Batman. PS uh, 2 or 3 maybe? Oh, and yeah. PS 3. Click, and then there's like an Apple mouse. <laughs> oh, that's that, 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 Yeah, dude. Worst comes to worst, I'll use it on mine. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, put that in there. Yeah. And then, I don't know about those, but sure. It's got to be sound. I think you're better off because the stuff is not much. She normally does pretty well. Oh, really? Yeah. Then, anything that's marked is like cheap, but just not good enough. So, um, yeah. so you just see me pick up three items one of those three being this batman controller here so we managed to pick up all of these for um 15 dollars the three items and the best thing about this batman controller is it is a ps2 and the way to tell that is just down here i'll just grab it is this little bit here this is only for the ps2 i don't know exactly what the port is called but this is um always going to be for a ps2 if you see that so this batman remote is actually worth quite a bit of money i'll chuck a comp up around me as we speak but um i'm really happy with this and uh let's move on to the next item here is the next item this is um tony hawk's project 8 for the ps3 tony hawk is always the way to go with skate games or um, games in general it'll always be worth a decent amount of money pretty much every time so this one here is a very decent game and it will give me back all the money plus a little bit on top of what i put into this lot here last up we have this mac um mouse i took a little bit of a gamble on this i didn't know if it worked uh, it does work and um i should be able to get i think it's around 30 to 40 dollars for this guy which is really good even in this condition of um pre-owned how much did you want for this Three. Three. Um, I should have chained on me somewhere. You said five on these, did you? Um, yeah. Yeah, oh, I'll take those. Uh, five. Five on those? And, and the, the other ones as well? Uh, ten on those. Ten on those? Alright. Um, I'll grab those ones for ten quickly take you through the shoes that we've got so far in the video so we managed to pick up at the start these gel exalt asics shoes i'll put up a comp right over there of how much is it going for i only paid five dollars as you saw earlier and i think that's a really good price they're in decent condition the sole is a little bit worn but um i'll just let them know in the description i should be able to get a decent amount of profit off these guys and um that's what i'm always looking for the asic shoes some of these older ones can go for a real good amount as well we have a pair of shoes that I didn't pick up. My mum actually picked them up. Uh, these are called a Supra um, Musca 001s. Never actually heard of the brand before, but um, they're actually worth quite a bit of money. I think um, I should make a really good amount of profit off this. I'll put the comps up as always, and I'm really happy with this. There is a little bit of um, fraying on the um, design itself, but it should be fine. It'll clean up very well and the soles are really good condition and it's a great size. Shoe. Last up, we've got these Adidas Gazelles. These are really nice print as well. They've sort of like a, um, a rock sort of rock pink sort of print on them. And it's, um, this should be a really quick and easy seller on the store. These always sell well for me, the Gazelles, especially in these cool colors and designs like this one. 
So it was a little bit different, uh, difficult in that video to see what was going on. There was just a lot of people grabbing, so I had to just put the phone down and see what I could get out of the pile. But the funny thing with this is actually I might need some of your guys' help to help me out with uh, what some of these items actually are. I know I can make my money back on a few of the items that are in this, but the other ones are a bit difficult for, for me to research, and I thought you guys might be able to help me uh, figure out what I could get for them. So, first of all, I thought we'd start off with the games I know will make me a decent amount of money. So, we have uh, The Last of Us here for PS3, and it is complete as well. And uh, this is just a really uh, easy game to uh, sell. Should be able to get, I think it's between 10 and 15 bucks for that guy. And then here we have Marvel Ultimate Alliance. It is disc only, but uh, surprisingly enough, this is still worth a decent amount of money. I did pay $30 for everything here, so there is my money back in those two games. But... Then we have this item here. This is actually a collection piece for me. Um, it's not worth that much. I think it's worth about 15 bucks. But it is um, just unique to find this sort of old Pokemon uh, sort of game. And uh, if I had to buy it, I'd have to get it shipped from the US. So I'd rather keep this for the collection. And who knows, it might um, go up in value over time. Now for the items I need your guys' help with. We have a lot of anime CDs and DVDs here. So if any of you guys know anything about this sort of thing, um, I know that these do sell well, uh, or teenagers and stuff that are buying them. Um, I do have one that I put to the side, which I'll put a comp up if I can find anything of it, because there is some English on it. But even on Google Lens, these are a bit hard to find. Um, but they're, they're all sealed, just about every one. I paid, like, I think it was around a dollar each for these. So I've got quite a lot of them. So I was thinking, worst comes to worst, I just lot them up on eBay in lots for around like $5 a piece. And they should sell pretty well there. Um, anime is really hot right now. Just loads of people are buying it. And then you've got, um, obviously, these two games, which is my money back. And then we've got a nice collection piece. That is all for the car boot sale portion of this video. But there is uh, three things that we still need to do in this video. The first is I'd like to um, take you guys through a little bit of backstory on how I got into flipping as I've been getting quite a lot of questions. The second is our profit analysis at the end. And then our third will obviously be the outro like we have in every video. So first of all, I'll take you through how I actually got into flipping. So pretty much I started off selling Hot Wheels, which you've probably seen in my background and etc. Um, of just selling Hot Wheels and other sort of cards, match, uh, cars, matchbox, etc. Then I went from that into um, Pokemon stuff. So that's where I've got my knowledge of Pokemon from. Watching YouTube videos, all this sort of thing um, has definitely helped me quite a lot in general. So jumping from Hot Wheels to Pokemon was a very big difference. But then I went from Pokemon uh, to NBA cards as well. That's where I've got my love for NBA cards. Um, they are a bit diff difficult to find out here in Australia when it comes to um, just people in general. But you can obviously still access them. And then I went from there and just started watching more and more YouTube videos and stuff. And then I realized, you know what, why be bothered with just buying one item to flip? Why don't I just buy anything I can make money on? And that's what I've decided to do. So that's why I've started this channel, to bring you guys along on the journey. You've, um, I've only started the eBay business two weeks earlier to when I started this channel. So pretty much you guys will be along with me from the journey from start to finish. So as long as I have my eBay reflipping, uh, reselling uh, business, you guys will be along for the ride. And I'll be updating you guys every Sunday as we continue. But I won't waste any more time. Let's get over the profit analysis. So here is basically what we're looking at. So um, here we have the total after fees and postage, and then here we have the cost of goods. So after the shoes, video games, hats, the mouse and controller that we picked up, and the anime disc, which I've priced at $3 each, um, we should be able to get $326 conservatively. Obviously, some of those discs for the anime will go for more. And then on the cost of goods size, we paid $71. This leaves us with a grand total of $255 profit. So $255 profit after just for a Sunday morning is pretty decent. Obviously, we do have to go and list all these items, get them posted and everything. So there will be a little bit of time that goes into this. But I definitely think that it is worth getting out on that Sunday morning to get this done. Plus, I get to get this video out to you guys, which makes it even better. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you don't mind, maybe leave a like, sub, comment down below. If you do enjoy this content, I um, upload the same video that you're seeing right now every Sunday. And then every Wednesday, I will have some sort of video out, whether it's a how to post, an op shop video, garage sale video, something like that. So pretty much every Wednesday and Sunday, no matter what, there will be a video out on the channel. So if you do like this content, definitely leave a sub and I'll see you guys next time.